Hi, and welcome to Watch It Played. My name is Rodney Smith, and in this video, I'm going to talk to you about the iron clays and wooden chest from Roxley Games. But before I do, just know this product was sent to me for the purposes of this video, and I charge a fee for previews like this. So if you have concerns about possible biases on my part, please keep that in mind. But hopefully, if I've done my job correctly, by the end of this video, you'll be able to make up your own mind about what you think of these. Now, what we have here are just two of the options being offered in a Kickstarter running at this time, which I'll link in the description below. But in case you're seeing this video after the Kickstarter ends, they will also be available to buy later as well. Now, in the Kickstarter, they're offering gaming chips and playing cards. I don't have the playing cards here, but I do have the iron clays and wooden chest option. And let's start by taking a look at these. Now, I had said that they sent me these products, but actually, this I had bought myself previously because they had offered these during their brass Kickstarter, and I just thought they looked fantastic. Now, you might think of these as poker chips, but I think they more accurately broadened the term to call them gaming chips because I don't actually play poker myself, though if I did, these would obviously be a no-brainer. Instead, I just keep these on one of my game shelves, and when I'm playing a game that uses counters of some kind, then I just take these off and use them as a replacement. And there's a variety of games that you could use these with. I just have a few examples here, like Seven Wonders, Brass, Bruges, Kalis, Great Western Trail, and Dice Town, which actually comes with paper money. So this is a significant upgrade there. But really, any game where you're required to track something, like money or life totals or victory points, you could then use these super high quality iron clays with. And just to give you a sense of that quality, let's go to the table here and I'll give you a closer look. These have an iron core for weight, but are mostly made from limestone and clay materials, which give them a very smooth, satisfying feel when you hold them. But also, as I mentioned, they have a weight to them, so they feel substantial. As you can see, they also have intricate designs and these go right to the middle of the chip. So fundamentally, they can't wear off. This set comes in denominations of ones, fives, tens, twenties, and hundreds and they all fit inside this sturdy case, which you can then set by the play area for easy organization and access by the players. When you're ready to put it away, there's a plastic cover that snaps over the top, and then all of this goes inside of the ribboned and very sturdy, magnetically sealed box. Now, obviously, beauty is in the eye of the beholder, but I think the presentation and just attention to detail here is pretty marvelous. This isn't just a super functional set of gaming chips it's a, it's a discussion piece. I mean, I'd even go so far as to say it's almost an art piece, really. And well, if this looked good, there's also this wooden chest of iron clays. So let's take a look at these. This is heavy because inside are 400 iron clays divided between two magnetically sealed faux suede lined bank trays. And that magnetic seal is an important part of this because as you can see, you can tip this and the chest doesn't just fly open, which is, which is good, because if it did, that would be a giant mess. Again, these are usable in any number of card and board games, 18xx games, and poker games of up to 10 players, all stored in this handcrafted wooden chest with fully removable drawers, so you can just pop them out and place them in the play area. And with two drawers, you can create two banks of chips, one for each end of the table. And the bottoms of these are lined with suede to ensure you don't damage your gaming surface. This set will come with additional denominations that I don't have here, so just check the Kickstarter page for the differences. But from this, you can see how easy it is to draw and replace chips from these drawers. When you're ready to return them, they go back in very easily. Now, I should also mention, this is an advanced manufacturer's copy of the box. The final will have some changes, including printing on the sides and back, and even some on the front, which you can see on the Kickstarter page. Also, for backers who already have the clay sets, like I do, you'll be able to pick up an upgrade on the Kickstarter page that allows you to just get the box and certain denominations you might need if you just want to fill this out with your own existing chips. Now, this project is referred to as Iron Spades and Clays, and that's because they are also offering premium playing cards that you can pick up as well. Now, as I mentioned, I don't have any myself to show you here, so check the Kickstarter page for that. But they are also offering another version of the chest that includes the cards in their own separate top drawer, along with a drawer of chips. 
Hopefully though, this gives you a sense of the products that they're offering. And if it's of interest to you, I encourage you to go to their Kickstarter page and give it a look. That said, if you have any questions about anything you saw here, feel free to put them in the comments below and I'll gladly answer them as soon as I get a chance. But until next time, thanks for watching.